so introduce yourself and your team okay hello everyone subhit dar here captain of team phalanx from government college of engineering and research ausari okay so let's start with questions first one which is better captain's decision captain's opinion or team's opinion team's decision okay uh, i think that the captain is the member of team who is chosen by the whole team uh, as a leader uh, so my my experience uh, i experienced that most of the time it uh, not it is not difficult to so it is because uh, most of the time the team's opinion and the captain's decision is uh, safe but uh, at some times uh, it is different uh, so i think uh, with situation we can go uh, for some situations uh, we should give preference to the captain decision because uh, his vision and his thoughts uh, for the decisions are uh, different and uh, for some situations uh, we can go through the uh, team's opinion also we can say that uh, we can work collaboratively uh, so efficient and effective decision can uh, came out okay next one how will you handle captaincy and friendship at the same time and what will be your expectations so the uh, these two things are uh, too much different like uh, we can say that captaincy is a responsibility and uh, friendship is what about your personal life and it's uh, totally related about the whole uh, personal life that you live uh, outside the team so we uh, for the captaincy we have to put it uh, all uh, outside of the team because here you are uh, performing a role of captain uh, you have to take decisions and uh, make uh, too many uh, interchanges in teams uh, also we can say that uh, if some friends are there in your team and uh, with uh, them you have good relations uh, it also helps you uh, we can take it in positive ways by the way we can say that uh, if your friend is there and you are making some decisions uh, so it is easy to uh, you to convey them you can easily uh, pass messages to them and you can easily convey them why you are making these decisions uh, so there is not too much difficulty in uh, captaincy and friendship okay next question how will you impose your decisions to team forcefully or convincingly so it's interesting thing because all team members or oh, sorry uh, we can say all team captains face this problems because uh, many much more times uh, some uh, rough decisions uh, have to take uh, at the point so we can say that uh, we can play a uh, same uh, brain games <laughs> like we can say that i will uh, made a complicated sentence here like uh, we can make uh, our teammates convincing forcefully means you are convincing them but uh, at the time you are forcing them it's a art and you can do it uh, my teammate and i do it it's interesting thing but all over about uh, it uh, that we can say that uh, sometimes forcefully decision taken are uh, worth to team hence they are taken so we have to uh, adjust it and we have to do it okay next question how hard you can push yourself to team's goal so uh, i can say that uh, pushing myself is the pushing my team because uh, the team word is made for the group of the members and uh, i am alone can't do anything uh, for my team so by pushing my team mates and improving themselves in their own skills their knowledges and their uh, technical or uh, personal uh, developments uh, i am pushing my team uh, forward so pushing my team is pushing myself towards the goal okay next question what will you do if your team is having academic exam and at, at the same time you need to ready your card oh okay so Uh, it's not uh, too much complicated as we know that for any exam we have a uh, 15 days earlier time table for that exam so it's enough time to prepare for the exams and hence we can manage our time uh, as per the examinations and as per our work in the team uh, if there is any uh, incident or if there is any accident by which there is uh, in 
exam in two or three days and you got the notice uh, earlier only two days and you have to prepare for it and you have too much less time and you have to also work in the team so we can manage it my uh, team members who are uh, not going to give this exam means there is uh, members from uh, each year uh, they can manage the work also uh, i can say that uh, there is one other solution that we can uh, improve our working hours and uh, we can uh, minimize our resting hours and with this we will manage the problem okay next question for funds whom do you consider first college why and how you will convince second sponsor why and how will you convince okay uh, i will consider both of them but i will give first preference to the sponsors uh, because of uh, i think it i am doing it with pro proper reason that i can say with sponsorship we can elaborate uh, we can develop ourselves uh, with some skills uh, like we can say that when we approach to uh, get a sponsorship uh, we uh, communicate with too many uh, industries or uh, too many people that are working in industry by which we can get how industry works and how industry deals uh, by which also we can say that uh, if we are taking monetary help from them then what we are going to uh, give them in return so how the deal works in the uh, industry so it is uh, helping us to develop ourselves and giving a good experience about how industry works in deals so uh, it is uh, beneficial to us and like that i will uh, give second preference to the college because college is always there and uh, that helps us so uh, if there is no one then college is always uh, there to help us so college is always uh, helping us so we can uh, go there at the last so next question what will you do if a crucial part of your cart fails a day prior to competition okay with my experience uh, we have faced this uh, problems uh, we generally uh, we have this problem statement in our team so we uh, solved it as we can uh, make a list of crucial parts that can be failed at the time of the event uh like uh, our experience we failed our fuel pump at the endurance racing so we are uh, have a uh, backup plan for the each component but at the time uh, if there is any component that is not listed in the list and it fails then we will uh, try to uh, give uh, get a solution with our potential and with the knowledge of our teammates that uh, that solution can make uh, our problem uh, solved and uh, also there is another way by which uh, we can uh, take help from another teams uh, which are uh, competing with us and uh, by the old experience i can say that uh, all teams are uh, too much friendly to help us or help anyone so these are the solutions for that so next question Uh, what will you do if your team is almost out of the competition and another team requires a major part to stay in competition so for the first part of the question uh, i think that it's our model to fight till end uh, no matter uh, you are going to be win or lose it's not a thing uh, for which we are doing the competition it's a thing for which we are doing the competition is only knowledge gaining Uh, so till last point we will uh, run the competition and the another point and the whole uh, question made that uh, how can you help the another team so i have two perspective my own visions like uh, if there is any equipment uh, needed for that team i will help them i will try to give uh, all the help that i can get to them but if there is any technical issue or technical uh, need that they need then uh, i will prefer to not do that because i think it's unfair to other teams because uh, they are also competing there and uh, when we are helping them we are unfairly uh, to other teams so it's not a moral thing to us okay uh, next question what will you do if you failed a first competition and now with a new team consisting of half of fresh members what would be your steps for end goal Uh, so if i am uh, failed for the first time uh, then my first aim to uh, note down 
what are the reasons and what are the things on the basis we have failed it uh, now i have to work on it i have to solve this problem i have to get solutions for that i have to made uh, my team to don't do this again and uh, remaining part than the fishers so fishers uh, don't have that much technical and um, communications uh, sorry we can say that the fishers don't have technical uh, not too much technical knowledge so for the first year i don't give them uh, that much problem level i will give them a uh, problem uh, which can improve their technical knowledge or management skills Uh, that only that the problems uh, which are too much uh, bigger for the failure of our uh, team, I will give them to my old team members. So okay, uh, next question. If you pass your captaincy to other member while you are still in the team, what should be your stand for a team and your role as well? Okay, uh, it's. Uh, Uh, too much heavier to our team because it's our legacy to uh, pass uh, our captaincy to the third year uh, member when you are going to the fourth year member because uh, our motto for this is that you can prepare a new leader for your team uh, with your own inspection and we are doing it uh, with some years so it's not too much crucial and it's now it's not too much hard. Also, I experienced that when uh, many of the people ask us that how the ego of the old captain is managed and how he feels and how he do the works. So I think there is uh, when there is ego issue, then uh, there is uh, less knowledge is gained. So if you are doing the work in the team, then you have to put your own or uh, whole ego aside and you have to work uh, too much. Uh, potentially so it's not a bigger problem and with our old experiences i can say that there is not too much difficulty to uh, the old captain uh, to work as a member okay next question as an experienced captain how will you handle your first your fresher team to excel in competition so okay first of all for the fishers team they don't know anything about our event so first of all we have to teach them all the basic things how the manufacturing done and all the technical issues and all other issues so, so first of all i will try to uh, develop them in the technical field and also there are some issues uh, for the managements uh, i seen that many of the teams have some much more technical knowledge but they they fails in apply of uh, them because of lack of management uh, skills or we can say that lack of manufacturing skills uh, so i will also improve their manufacturing and management skills by giving them uh, some task in college level uh, by which i can improve themselves uh, to be a come a good member to a big, uh, our my team so next question how will you handle a dispute among team members so okay uh, it happens too much times to all teams uh, there is dispute for uh, in uh, some members uh, based on their personal lives and many more other things uh, much messes there so i try and i have done this uh, i try to get this uh, outside of the team because it affects our environment and it uh, uh, affects our working potentials and uh, all other things uh, so with positive effort we i try to solve them and i try minimum more time to solve them out of the team and it works so i uh, first prefer to don't uh, affect that dispute to my team also if uh, it uh, is too much bigger and if it, it is not solved and it is uh, getting more much more mess and mess then i will try to uh, don't get that mess in my team all of that miss that can do that he will be outside the team so okay uh, next question how will you deal with team members who is unproductive so first of all i think that unproductivity is not any habit or it uh, is not uh, the thing that we cannot finish in, in any member uh, i have seen this problem in uh, my some uh, fellow members like uh, one of our team mate is good in communications or good in uh, some uh, computer works or any other uh, works 
but he is weak at manufacturing processes he don't get uh, well manufacturing processes and he is uh, much little bit weaker in technical sections so i give on say them uh, some task uh, by which they can uh, improve themselves uh, like uh, we can uh, give them some mechanisms that they can made with the help of our books uh, by uh, giving them some jobs that we can that they can make in our workshops and by this we can improve their productivity so we can say that uh, productivity uh, can be uh, can be let it out from the team so okay so next question next question you have to answer as a fresher or as a team member so question is as a team member what will you expect from your captain okay uh, as a fresher i think freshers are uh, too much uh, enjoyable persons they are new to the college they have too much aims to to enjoy and they think the captain should be too much calm and you would too much chances to enjoy the team but with the vision of team member i think captain should be a uh, well uh, strong maker the captain should make good decisions by which the team can grow too much uh, good and by which the potential of our member can grow uh, in right manner also the captain should be strict because uh, rules and ethics are the steps by which we can make our team good and better so next question during event someone got extreme injury like a ligament tear what would be your stand i as a captain okay uh, first of all i will uh, provide uh, him or her uh, basic medications uh, that is needed at the time also i will uh, further uh, uh, give them the hospitality uh, facilities and then i will focus on my event because uh, event is also important but our first priority is uh, the health of our member because he have done so much work to our team each members uh, health is first priority to us okay so next question how will you keep your team's enthusiasm under pressure with lack of time okay so that the thing that we can uh, we can't main at the instant or we can't uh, do or that is the skill that we can't have at time uh, for that we need experience uh, so as i told before we take much more task in our college so by which we can uh, teach our members to how to Uh, work in uh, pressure moments. Uh, so by this we can handle it at the event time. So next question: Who will you blame for failure in competition? Yourself or particular team member or the whole team? So failure is not the thing uh, for which we have to blame. Failure is the is the thing uh, by which we have to learn. We have to grow more. We have to improve ourselves. We have to make our potential uh, get transmitters. uh by blaming we are not doing anything it's only a uh, moral down of the team by this we are not doing anything by blaming we can't get anything uh, but by improving ourselves we are doing too much good to our team so i am not going to blame any one of the my team or any individual member or myself so next question how will how you consider yourself as a captain so i think i must uh, do good things to my team uh, like i have to take uh, hard decisions but i think all my decisions uh, should go in good way to my teams uh, so there is uh, my participation in the team to grow more and uh, make my teammates Uh, more potential and uh, more uh, knowledge taking people that's all not too much okay so next question who is an ideal captain from your point of view or how you think yourself as suitable for captaincy okay for the ideal captain i think uh, first of all the uh, things or qualities that he needs or her needs she needs are the rules and ethics Uh, that he uh, or she follows, or by which he can uh, or she can run the team. Because of that, uh, the rules and ethics are the most important steps for the team to build uh, 
in proper way or in a better way also for the uh, captaincy you have you must have a good decision making power because with decisions uh, you are making your team stronger and stronger these are the some uh, key points to be an ideal captain and uh, for me i want to be uh, in good position in that points so next question who is an ideal captain from your point of view uh, so that i said that uh, i want the ideal captain to be good for that three steps okay so last one if you come up with an idea and everyone agrees to it at the time of implementation one by one your group members are quitting with genuine reasons and now only you are left what will you do so the uh, the work is important so i will try to do work uh, with uh, my fellow mates but they are uh, going with their own uh, genuine reasons so i will uh, try to convince them and uh, i can uh, try to get a smaller and smaller help with their own genuine reasons also if there is uh, compulsion and uh, they can't manage it uh, i have to work alone then i will uh, try to work alone with my own potential and with my own knowledge but the main purpose and the main aim to complete the task and complete the work so thank you sumit best of luck thank you